I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's project is the making of my custom bootstrap dress form. So those of you who don't know, Bootstrap is a company where you can go in and to their website and put in your measurements and they will send you a PDF pattern for a dress form. And you just print it out, tape it together, and sew it together, and then stuff it. <laughs> so um, I enjoyed this process and I thought I would bring you all along for this adventure. So here we go. To begin this project, I taped my pattern together, cut it out, and then spent a little time checking the instructions. I started by pinning the center back pieces to the side back pieces. Then I sewed that on the machine. Next, I pinned the side cups to the center cups, matching notches. This step was slightly confusing since I did not see a stitch line indicated, so it took a few minutes to figure out which side I needed to be stitching. Next, I pinned the lower side fronts to the lower center fronts. Then I pinned the upper side fronts to the upper center fronts. I sewed the side cups to the center cups. Then I sewed the lower side fronts to the lower center fronts. And finally, I sewed the upper side fronts to the upper center fronts. I clipped all of my seam. Then I got a great blurry elbow shot while ironing the seams open. <laughs> My next step was to pin the cups to the lower fronts, matching the notches. I sewed the cups down. I took my time to make sure the fabric didn't bunch up underneath. Next, I pinned the upper front pieces to the lower front pieces. I took it to the machine and sewed them together. I next stay stitched around the neck and the arm size. I pinned the side seams next. Then I sewed the side seams. Next I pinned the front center seams. And sewed that together. step was to pin and sew the shoulder seams. Then I clipped the curves that hadn't been clipped yet. I pinned the neck piece to the neckline. And then I sewed the neck to the neckline. I 
I pinned the center back seam and sewed it closed. Then I pinned and sewed the neck top to the neck. This and the armhole covers were a bit fiddly, I found. I next pinned the armhole covers to the armholes matching notches. I took my time and sewed those in. So I have just had what might be a brilliant idea, but might be a very dreadful idea. I am not sure yet. <laughs> so here's the thing. So I've got my got my dress form, my bootstrap dress form, sewn together pretty much. Um, and I just now need to do the inner support and then do the, the opening, the bottom. Um, where it has zippers. I don't have any matching zippers. Um, I'm actually considering doing snaps. I have those plastic snaps. I don't know. This is all still in my brain. But my other idea is I have this cheapo dress form whose name is Slim because she's quite small. I got her, she's very cheap, um, she's, you know, not adjustable or anything. I got her um, when I was making some musical theater costumes and my dress form was way too big. Um, even, you know, my medium sized dress form was way too big. Um, so, I was considering, I have to take this part off and I think it unscrews. Um, there we go. Um, so I'm taking, I'm taking this part off. I already have, you know, it has, it came with a stand. Um, it's already got the inner support hole and the little turning knob to tighten it. So it will, you know, so I was considering putting my dress form of a me <laughs> over it where's my chest there we go um putting it over it and basically stuffing around it um, because <laughs> as you can see, there's still plenty of room to stuff, plenty of squish. Um, and I can even kind of, I can even stuff around the neck to fill that out. Um, that's solid. Um, so... I'm thinking of trying this. Ah, uh, yeah. So we've, we've still got pl plenty of room to stuff this. <laughs> so I don't know. I think it could work, and then that then I would use. I would need less stuffing, but there would still be plenty of squishability. Um, and. I already have the stand and everything. Um, I bought a, um, making sure the microphone was even on. I bought a, uh, what, what are they called? <laughs> coat rack. I bought a coat rack to use as a base for her. Oh, by the way, her name is going to be Freya. My last one was Brunhilda. My duct tape form was Brunhilda. She was nothing but trouble. Um, I did not make her correctly. Um, 
I should have used all polyfill instead of the expanding foam. She was too dense, um, had no squishability, and yeah. She expanded and was bigger than my measurement, so I really couldn't use her <laughs> anyway. So she just stood in the corner for a while and then her legs fell off and yeah. So Brunhilde is no more. So my new one, Shelby Freya, because she liked cats, right? <laughs> so yes. She shall be Freya, and I think this will actually work. If it doesn't, I can just take it out um, and restuff, and well, I'll have to take all the stuffing out and then, you know, insert the fabric middle section that houses the pole um, for the bootstrap form. But this might be, this might work guys it might work it might not but we shall see then i skipped a bunch of steps for the inner support pieces and moved on to the base support covers i sewed the two back support cover pieces together and the two front support pieces together i clipped the corners and seam allowance and turned them right side out to pin the mismatched zippers in I used a zipper foot to sew in the zippers. As I was doing this step, I realized that I have never put a zipper in anything. Crazy. Then it was time to pin the base cover to the bottom of the dress form. I sewed the base cover to the dress form bottom edge. Stuffing time! <laughs> I started at the top with the neck. More stuffing! Hercules knocked a wig down. Even more stuffing! <laughs> I put her on the stand and took some measurements while watching Morgan Donner's dress form video. And she's done. This is me. Need to get, put a little more stuffing in the bottom. I also need to put the cardboard in the bottom. So, um, I, I, I didn't put the cardboard in the arms here. Um, I don't think that's gonna make that much of a difference. Um, put a little more padding in the stomach because I felt she wasn't quite big enough in the stomach. The measurements are correct. Um, so I think she's as close to me as I'm gonna get. Um, I have a, a fairly flat <laughs> backside um, most of my most of my width is in my front um, so I will agree I don't I mean looking just at us next to each other I don't think the bust is too low some people were worried you know the bus was too low when they made theirs. I mean, I'm 40, so <laughs> my bus isn't super high anymore. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, actually this, I'm, I'm very pleased with her. Um, Freya, well done. So I will, I will call her done except for a few, a couple more little things. Um, and then I will need to record my final thoughts. So some final thoughts on the bootstrap dress form. I'm very, very pleased with how it turned out. 
it went together well. Now granted, I did not use the instructions completely. I did not follow them to the letter since I used that smaller dress form for the inner support. Um, I think that is a viable option. It seemed to have worked out very well. And, um, you know, if you want to do that as well, go ahead. If you want to make it as the pattern instructs, do that too. And if you do make a bootstrap dress form in any way, let me know down below in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear about your experiences with it. Now, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> I was a little afraid to not to make the dress form but to put her out into the interwebs to put me out <laughs> into the interwebs in all my glory it's one thing to take pictures of yourself in costume or even take pictures or film yourself fitting things this felt this felt more vulnerable in some ways um, and I just want to let everyone know who who you know may have some body insecurities I've worked hard to overcome mine but they're still there sometimes <laughs> and they were there when I was contemplating filming this whole process and showing all of you um, me <laughs> and now I have not gotten any negative comments in any of my videos thus far and you are all so amazing and so kind and I really really appreciate it um, but you know the day may come where a negative comment about my size or my weight might happen and I'm prepared for that if it does so I um, I definitely want to encourage you all of you who are interested in making a dress form to, to do it because I'm so excited to get started working on learning how to draft and to drape drape mostly I've never done that before and now that I have a dress form that is my measurements that I can put a corset on to cinch in when I need to because um, she's pretty squishy <laughs> um, so that I can really See how a garment is going to look on me without having to fit it on me <laughs> which is difficult and I'm sure some of you can attest to that that that's a hard thing to do so here she is she is Freya and I want to thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so much for your support if you want to continue to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. I also have an Instagram if you'd like to follow me there. That's at Rebecca.pocket.full.of.posies. <laughs> and please let me know if you make one of these and I will see you next time on our sewing adventures. Bye!